Yeah, everybody, this is Brother Kinsley. So, just finished preaching today in Stratford Centre again. This is my fourth time. I am so grateful. Listen, people, I've been here four times already, and three times already, I got people looking forward giving their life to God. I just met a lady now when I was preaching. She didn't mind. She wants to give her life to God. I said, that's great. So, create her details. I'm going to call her later with my pastor. Pray for her and then hoping that God will make her to serve him. Amen? What did I preach today? I preached about knowing your enemy. Do you know your enemy? You see? Because this is important as a child of God for us to do what? To know our enemy. Your enemy is not your family member. It's not your wife. It's not your husband. It's not your children. It's not your boss. It's not anybody. Your enemy don't have a flesh. Amen. That's why the Bible says we don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities of devil, both in the higher and the lower places. You see? So your enemy is devil. Shaitan the devil, the un unemployed Sherobi. The Bible called him the Prince of Air. The Bible said the small G God had blinded the eyes of unbelievers so that they can never hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. So listen, three things the devil does in this life is quite it's quite important for us to know. Amen. Those are what? The loss of flesh. You see, the pride of life, you see, and what? Your appetite. Your appetite, you see. Devil fool Adam and Eve and Deborah for him. But when he came to Jesus Christ, in the book of Luke chapter 4, we know how Jesus Christ did with him. When he said, you know, Jesus Christ fasted for 40 and 40 and I was very hungry. And devil was telling him, if you are a son of God, Turn these stones to be prayed. And Jesus Christ said, It was written that man shall not live by bread alone, by every word that came out from the mouth of God. You see? So Jesus Christ was quoting Deuteronomy chapter 8 when God said to the children of Israelite, Your God humble you and give you manna in the desert to eat. But you shouldn't base on that, you should hang on on the word of God. Amen. And that is why Jesus Christ defeated the devil. So today in your life, let me ask you, are you hanging on the word of God that you shouldn't be looking at to deceive you, to move you away from God? Because you need to know one thing for sure. You're going to be tempted, whether you like it or not. Once you call yourself a Christian, a believer, you live in a righteous life, living a holy life, you're going to be tempted. You see? And the Bible said, through trials and tribulation, that's the only way we can make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. So when devil tempted Jesus Christ, he failed. Why did he fail? Because Jesus Christ quoted the word of God to him. You see, man shall not live by bread alone. But from the word of God, every word that comes out from the mouth of God, what are the words? Those are the words that is in the Bible today. That's why you need to read the Bible. Amen. When you're going through trials and tribulations, you say to the devil, God will supply all my needs according to his riches, which is in glory in Christ Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you imagine Jesus Christ with his supernatural power turn the whole stone to be bread? By now, we can never rely on God. You see? And that's why the devil can always try to tempt you when you are hungry, when you are weak. Can you imagine finish fasting? The devil will tempt you in different many ways, you will show you the biggest chicken wings. You know that Jesus was fasting, just to make sure that you eat that bread. You see, but he failed because Jesus Christ defeated him three times. You see, and that's why you need to give your life to God. Give your life to God because the devil will continue to deceive you. So I deceive many people today in their life. They're all eating different kind of food they shouldn't be eating at. You see, you need to give your life to God, man. Any life that you are living apart from Christ, you are empty. You're absolutely empty. You see? Listen, 
at the end of the day, what counts is this. Either you give it to God, you give it to the devil. Amen? Are you eating God's food, which is the word of God? Or are you eating different kind of food, like sexual immorality? Do you know sexual immorality is a sin? Do you know homosexuality is a sin? Do you know gossiping is a sin? Do you know overeating is a sin? You see? Any lifestyle that you are living outside the word of God, it is a sin. You see? Are you working Monday to Monday? Never go to church? Never serve God? Never glorify His name? Do you know that is a sin? You see? And that is why I'm here in this platform to encourage you to give your life to God. Because a time will come, men will never have a sound doctrine, a sound word of God. You see? Tell me today, what is your appetite? Is your appetite to go after sex? Is your appetite to go after drinks? Is your appetite to go after smoking? Listen, in the society that we are living today, do you know what's the biggest problem in the society? It's sex. Look at the whole problem we have in the society have to do with sex. Talk about abortion, talk about sexual immorality, talk about homosexual, lesbian, talk about gay right. Listen, even talk about some pastors killing their wife, sleeping around, you are preaching, but you cannot zip up your pants, you know? So listen, at the end of the day, the problem that we have today in the society have to do with three things. Loss of flesh, appetite for different things, and pride of life. The devil can only tempt you three ways. Just as he tempted Jesus Christ, he failed three times. You see? He said to him, if you are son of God, made this stone to become bread. He said, for it's written, man shall only do what? Eat from the word of God. When he tempted him again, consigned to worship, Jesus Christ said to him, you can only worship your God and your Lord, and you only him you serve. Let me ask you a question. Who are you serving today? Are you serving your drink a bit? Are you serving sleeping around? Are you serving smoking? Because you must serving something. Either you're serving God or you're serving your flesh. Are you maintaining your stealing, your lying, your gossiping? Do you know gossip is a sin? Do you know laziness is a sin? You see? So any lifestyle that you are living outside God, it is a sin. You are empty. You, you try to make up. You try to make up just to help yourself. But you can never make up. I say make up and break up and come to God. That's what you need to do. Make up, break up, and come to God. Knowing your enemy. The Bible says he runs like a lion. Like a lion. But it's not a lion. Just like a lion. And seeking for wood to do what? To devour. And many people have been devoured by devil. You see? And that is why I say to you, as a child of God, what shall you profit you to gain the whole world and then lose your soul? You see? The whole point Christ came to die is to save your soul. Amen? So then, if you are losing it, it is your own personal decision. Because he have already done his cross. Done it on the cross of Calvary. He shared his precious blood. So that you can have eternal life. Amen. And that eternal life is only in Christ Jesus Christ. It's not in Muhammad. It's not in Buddha. It's not in Atheists. It's not in any other name. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Him, except through Jesus Christ. You see? Every other door has been closed. Every other way has been closed. Every other life has been do what? Closed. When you come to God, you move away from what? From death to life. That the same spirit that was in Christ Jesus Christ. It's the same spirit that is living in me and also living in you. And if you give your life to God today, you will be saved. That the same spirit will lead you to war, to eternal life. And that the same spirit that I have. That I have so much energy fired up to go and preach. Even I just came back from work. Had a little bit sleep. You see? And my body just woke up. I was like, oh, I have to go and preach. I was like, yes. I have to go and do the work of God. In the past, many years before, I used to do different kind of jobs. I used to do probably three jobs sometimes. At some point, I just asked myself, all the jobs and all these things that I was doing, I just pleasing my flesh because I was satisfying my appetite of what? Money, pride. And those are the things God wants us. God wants us pride. It's very bad, eh? Pride is one of the, the things, one of the most things God hates. Are you a prideful person? 
the word of God is warning you today. Don't live in pride. You see, the Bible says, humble yourself and I will lift you up. I don't see many people today humbling themselves. Everybody just going after their own, you see. But at the end of the day, we know one thing for sure. We are going to be judged. And the judge is who? Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is why everything is going to bow before him. Every time we confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So let me ask you today. Why not bow now? Before that time come? Why not bow to Jesus Christ? You see? Don't wait until when you die. Because when you die, it is too late. Some people are living it far too late. You see? Your near miss could be your last miss. Amen? So give your life to God today. And guess what? You obtain eternal life. You see? If you reject the word of God, you are totally what? rejecting God. You cannot separate the Bible from Jesus Christ. You cannot separate Jesus Christ from the Bible. The Bible said the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Amen? And that word is Jesus Christ. You see? So no another person can save you in this life. Not your mama. Not your, not your papa. Not your wife or your husband. Not your children. Not even the society. Nobody can save you. Only can save is what? Jesus Christ. And that is why you need to come back to God today. So that you can do what? Have eternal life. And I pray that this message is loud and clear. For me, it's not loud and clear for me. You see? I'm here to do the work of God. And I will continue to do it until my last breath. Amen? And then I'll wake up and see my maker. I can't wait for that day. I'm looking forward. Amen? Remember, thing? Jesus Christ is coming. So make up and break up and come to God today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Goodbye. God bless.